Hi, I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and this cute hippo is the newest pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club. So when I say newest pattern, it is currently September 1st, 2023, and this is the pattern that all the club members, if you're already in the club, you should have already gotten an email with a link to download the pattern. If you join the club at any time in September 2023, this is the pattern that you're going to get instantly. If you're seeing this video and it is well past September 2023 and you're wanting to know where to get the pattern, just go to shinyhappyworld.com and look in the quilt pattern section and you will find this hippo there. So here's how to make it. Okay, let's make this hippo. So this is the version, uh, this is the video that's showing how to assemble the pieces if you do not have a light box. And in that situation, you do need to transfer all of these dotted lines from the paper side of your pieces over to the fabric side. And to do that, I just hold the pieces up in a window with the light shining behind it, and that'll make these lines show through very, very clearly. And then I just transfer them with a, with a chalk line whenever possible. And if the fabric is too light for white chalk to show up, I'll use a pencil. And in places where it's going to be appliqued with a dark, uh, with a black, solid black, like the nostrils on this piece, I'll just use a Sharpie. It doesn't matter uh, that it's a permanent marker. They're going to show, it's never going to show through a black fabric. So here is how we put this together. I like to start with the bottom edge, the one that gets lined up at the bottom edge of the block. Uh, I do most of my blocks what I call snapshot style. And that means imagine that you have snapped a photo of this animal and I've zoomed in to the face. The body would get cropped off naturally at the bottom edge of your photo. So that's what you want to happen with your block. You don't want to float that cut edge up in the middle of the block you want that to go right along the raw edge at the bottom. So get that into place. Now we're gonna do the bottom of the mouth. We're just gonna work our way up the body here. So the next piece is the bottom of his mouth. And I'm just gonna see that, that line that I transferred, that is a placement line. And I know that as soon as I cover that line with my piece, I've got good coverage. Next up, we're gonna do the nose piece. And same thing, there's a line here that I transferred and I'm just gonna cover that line up and then I've got the nose piece in place. Now for the head, this is gonna tuck behind the nose and I've got a similar chalk line here. So we're gonna just Kind of lift up that nose piece and slide this under. And again, as soon as that chalk line is covered, I know I've got good overlap. All right, now let's put the ears in place. All of these pieces are numbered and there is a placement guide that, uh, that you can use. I'll just pull that in so you can see it. So this tells you, it gives you a key and shows you what piece is what and goes where. So I know that ear number two goes on the left side and ear number three goes on the right side. You can just do a little trial and error too and see which one looks right. And again, we're going to tuck these in just until that chalk line is covered. And then seven and eight are the eyes. There are ovals for the eyes and ovals for the nostrils and they are different sizes. So seven and eight are the eyes and then nine and 10 are the nostrils. So all of these fabrics, all of these shades of gray, these are all fabrics that I designed especially for applique. And all of these grays are from the Elephant Blenders collection. So it's all the same hue uh, but different shades of light and dark and different patterns on it. So since they all start from the same hue, you know that they're all gonna look really good together. And hippos are really pretty uniformly covered, colored. 
So I like using the different prints to help distinguish those different sections. And you're gonna be distinguishing them even further when you do the outline stitching. And that's what's next. I'm gonna very carefully lift this up, carry it over to my ironing board, fuse all the pieces in place. Just follow the directions on whatever brand of fusible adhesive you're using. I use Heat and Bond Light for all of my quilts. Then I'm gonna let that cool and then I'm gonna take it to my sewing machine and outline all of these pieces with just solid black. And then I'll bring it back here and show you the finished block and also show you a couple of different color options that I've made. All right, here is the finished hippo. I've done all of the outline stitching it on it, just simple straight outline stitching in black thread, my favorite thing to do. I also added some catch lights to her eyes. Um, there's a link in the pattern to show you how to do that, and it links to like my favorite fabric paint, things like that. But I also wanted to show you a couple of other color versions that I did. So this one is the more realistically colored. These are all, the, all these shades of gray, gray are elephant blenders from my collection, but I've got other more fun versions. If an animal is naturally gray in real life, I am definitely gonna make a purple version of it. So this one, I did a lighter purple version. These are all the lighter shades of the eggplant blenders. So they are all the same hue, just different light and dark darkness and different prints on them to help make those areas clearly defined. And this is also the version where I stitched the eyelashes. So there are eyelashes on the pattern. You can either stitch them or ignore them, totally up to you. And I did one more version. And this one is a much brighter purple. This is from the Classic Rainbow Collection. So it is just bright, pure, saturated colors. Great purple, and then I did this on a kind of a grassy background. I saw lots of photos when I was doing my research of hippos standing in water that has grass in it. So it's in like a swampy, marshy kind of area. So that was my inspiration for that background. So that is the new hippo pattern, the current pattern in the Funny Faces Quilt Block of the Month Club for September 2023. I'm Wendy from Shiny Happy World, and I'll see you next time.